So when we talk about the polarity of the CH2O molecule, we need to look at the Lewis structure. We can see right away that we have some very different atoms attached there to that central carbon. The oxygen, very electronegative there on the top, and then those two hydrogens. So this molecule is unsymmetrical, and we have that difference in electronegativity there. That makes us think it's going to be a polar molecule. Let's take a look at the three-dimensional structure for the CH2O molecule to look at its polarity a little deeper. So here's our three-dimensional model, and we can see those hydrogens there at the bottom in white and the oxygen at the top in red. And we can see that it is a trigonal planar molecule. It's all in one plane, and we do have a very big difference in terms of the oxygen on the top and the hydrogens on the bottom. So if we have a difference in electronegativity, that means we're going to have poles, and if we have poles, it's a polar molecule. We can also look at the surface on the molecule, and you'll see that that blue up there, that's a little bit more negative, and then the bottom, that's going to be more positive. Those are your poles. So CH2O is a polar molecule. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.